dire special season for the club, 150th season and loads planned off the field for the fans but I guess the most important thing for you is the fixtures and we now got them and it looks like a, a pretty big task. Yeah obviously you know it, the season starts to get um, real once you start to get the fixtures and 150 um, end of 50th season is very special and we'll take that as a responsibility as well because some great players um, I've worn that shirt before, you know, the lucky ones that's going to wear it this season. So we'll be very much uh, t going into the season feeling we've got a responsibility to, to make sure we back up last season and hopefully go a little bit better again because I do think there's a bit more to come uh, from this team. But, you know, there's um, a good season last season, but still more to come. It's something that everyone always says, it's, it's about the next game. And the next game now is, is that first one, sale at home. Must be nice to start at home for you guys, I guess. Yeah, the Rico Arena was fantastic for us last season. We loved playing there. Um, obviously, we want to start strong. Sale caused us lots of problems most years. Uh, they've signed a number of players, so we know that's going to be tough. But uh, you know, we've got to back ourselves at home, and you know, we're really looking forward to to kicking the season off, hopefully in style. You know, with a fantastic uh, um, performance, the result would be ideal. We know it's going to be tough, but um, we're just looking forward to getting back and starting the season at the Rico. We know it's a, a long, arduous season, but that first block of six games, Sale, Worcester away, Harlequins at home, Exeter away, Bath at home, and then Saris away, it's a, it's a real tough start. Yeah, it's a massive uh, start for us, you know, I think um, there's some real tough games in there as well. A lot of teams have recruited very strongly this season. Uh, I, I say every year, this you know, this competition is getting harder and harder every year and more and more competitive. And I think you'll see that again. I doubt very much, it's a bit of a prediction, I don't want to make predictions um, obviously before the season starts, but I think, you know, as an exeter, I think we only lost four games last season, I think that's going to be tough to, to repeat, I think it's going to be really tough and you only got to look at them, them first block of games really. Every game we could, could, we could win, every game we could lose as well, that makes it really exciting. Uh, Northampton at the end of October, that's, that's always a tough trip for us and two weeks of Anglo-Welsh Cup before Newcastle at home, London Irish away and Leicester Tigers at home, so another four big Premiership games. Yeah, as you said, it's, it's very easy. You know, it's very easy to get excited about for every game, and I think that's the important thing. Northampton, I think it's the first time since I've been that we've actually done the double over them, and there weren't many smiles coming out of uh, Franklin Gardens when we won there. So I'm sure they're going to want to put that record straight. And, and as you said, it's um, all the games uh, are mouth-watering games. All games that. Uh, not only the players and the coaching staff can get excited about, but the supporters as well. Then you're right into the festive period. There's some, some great games. There's always great games over that period for fans, but some real tough ones for you. Gloucester, Bath and Saracens in around Christmas and New Year. Yeah, and I fancy you know, Gloucester, every season, everybody thinks they're going to do really well and don't quite uh, materialise. I fancy them this season to have a, to have a big season. Saris never disappoint, do they? And I think that... Um, I think if you get above them in the league at the end of the year, I think it'd be in a good, pl a good place. And uh, Bath, you know, I, I think they want to kick on from last season as well. So you're not going to get any three tougher fixtures over that. So yet again, for the players, Christmas is cancelled this year, and it's a lot of hard work to be done. It's a, it's a hectic start to the, the new year in 20, 2018. Then you've got European group stage fixtures. The end of those, you've got Anglo Welsh Cup games. And then you're back in February uh, with, with the Premiership, Harlequins at the Stoop, Exeter at home, Gloucester at King's home, and then London Irish at home. So a yeah. nice start to the, to the new year. Yeah, happy new year pretty much when you look at, we'll look at the fixtures. But you know, as you said, every game is really tough. And um, you know, I, I just look forward to it. I think we'll get to obviously the new year. I think the, probably the league will start taking shape then and, and people will start talking more about you know, who's going to be in the top six, who's going to be in the top four challenging for them, um, a top two position, so you know that's when the league really starts taking shape and, and people really start to um, to sort themselves out really. And then I guess you're into the home straight a little bit, you've got Leicester away at Welford Road, always a big fixture for us, European quarterfinals which we'll hope to hopefully yeah. be involved in, Sale away and Worcester back at the Rico. Yeah, and as you as you look at that there, as you said, it, it flows off the uh, off the tongue really, didn't it? The, the run in, but it seems a million million miles away from from that now at this moment in time. But uh, for us, it's about continuity now. It's about obviously building on what we've done over the last couple of seasons. 
we've gone through some pain, you know, we've lost in quarterfinals over the last couple of seasons, we've lost in two semi-finals, now we've lost in the final. We want to be up there at the end of the season again, competing for things. So we know it's easier said and done, there's a lot of hard work to, um, uh, to you know, to go in front of us. Uh, I'm very um, pragmatic when, this, you know, when you look at the season. First thing is, we don't get relegated. I think people obviously can underestimate that. A bad start and you get yourself under, under the cuff. So you don't get relegated. Then you aim for the top six. Once you're in the top six, you're aiming for that top four. And then you want one of them all important uh, um, top two positions. For us, I believe we've got a strong squad. I believe we've learned from some um, strong experiences, which we'd rather not have, losing experiences. But I can only make us better. But at the end of the day, talk is cheap. A lot of hard work being done now pre-season. Let's hope it's going to pay dividends and we look really look forward to that sale game. Really looking forward to starting the season big. And then, so the final two games of the regular season, Northampton and Newcastle. I think we've, we've been there before where things have hinged on Newcastle. Probably want to avoid mm. anything hinging on Newcastle again this season. Yeah, I, th I think, you know, there's, two, there's two, games, uh, two teams that would love to spoil our party. You know, if we arrive with them and, um, you know, snip and tuck, which it probably will be, um, you know, at the end of the season, there Northampton would love to knock us over and, and you know, stop us achieving something. And Newcastle always rub our hands when you know big teams go there, and you know we, we we fight very hard over the last couple of seasons to get anything out of there, really. So, and you look at them; they've progressed every season, and they got better every season, and, and obviously the recruiters. So that's. No, that's not a great game to finish, really. Uh, away to Newcastle, then wanting to uh, say thank you to the to the supporters in the last game of the season. So, but as I said, they're all hard, they're all exciting. Hundred fiftieth season, so you know, let, let's all enjoy it together. Pretty much, we're looking forward to it, but we really feel it as a responsibility to to back up what uh, what we did last year and hopefully go better.